I'm so thrilled to bring you yet another edition of uh, Battle Kristen versus the Chips. Just come back, well not just, I've just come home from uh, four days in San Diego for this blogging conference, blog her conference that I was at. And I'm pretty sure it was it was rock bottom for me. I can't imagine that what bottom could possibly be worse than than what I just experienced, but let's call it rock bottom. I probably should have known better. With PepsiCo uh, and Fritos as one of the as the hugest sponsor of the conference, I probably should have known I was damned from the beginning. So in my little welcome bag, I had Sun Chips and something else, both that had gluten in them. So I right away said, "Whew, good for me. I'm not going to eat those because I'm gluten free and those have gluten." Uh, fine. And happily, I skipped along thinking I had escaped a tempting moment. And then my roommate checked in. And she got a bag of chips in her welcome bag. I admit I was down a quart, perhaps. I had a little bit of a headache from that 5K run I did. And so she gave me the bag of chips. And I ate them. There was no time for vlogging. It was a small bag, and I had to get that whole bag right in. Uh... And so I ate them. And I thought, oh, good for me. I had a bag of chips, and I, that's all I had, and I'm just going to go move on. I avoided the expo, expo hall. I wasn't going to go in there and sample any more Fritos chips. I was just going to carry right on. Hmm. Right off the freaking deep end, people. The deep end. Saturday afternoon, they had a snack. The regular buffet had crackers and dips and guacamole and all sorts of nice little things to have with crackers. The gluten-free buffet, thick cut, salted potato chips. Salted. Mm -hmm. So I had a little dish, I had a little bowl, a little plate with some hummus and I enjoyed that. By the time we got back to my room, we were all sitting around, you know, my friends and roommates were all chatting and having a nice time. And I'm fairly certain I pushed and shoved and forced them back to that buffet table. Where I enjoyed another plate of potato chips, this time with guacamole. And then we went into to a keynote speaker or something. Mmm, I brought another plate with me. And a plate piled so high that I'm pretty sure I, I, I had to like hold it with two hands. You know Gollum and his precious ring? That was me with the potato chips. At one point, I, I maybe stood across the buffet table and told someone they couldn't have any. I pretended I was joking, but I really wasn't. It's 48 hours later, or more than 48 hours later, and I am still recovering from that potato chip overdose. I did not feel good. On the plane ride home, my lovely seatmate offered to share her potato chips with me, and I had to say no, because that's how terrible I felt. Uh, still feeling kind of rotten from all that deep fry. 